Michael Morgan standing alongside Ash Griffiths. Welcome to Woe TV, Ash. All right. Well, you're no strangers to Woe TV. Let's just cut straight to the meat and potatoes. Um, a few weeks back, you actually uh, were in an interview with Woe TV and um, you had a, a few, well, quite a few strong words uh, to say about um, Geordie Shaw's Aaron Jarmers. Now, sorry, I just, just in awe of, uh, of, of your, your magnificent T-shirt there, I have to say. What, what, what's the story behind the T-shirt? Oh, sorry? Story behind the T-shirt. These are all local companies, getting behind the local lad. You know what I mean? I'm not rich, I haven't been handed money on a plate. I need all the help I can get. I'm like one of those, one of those adverts for just 50 pence a day, you can sponsor me. You know, what more do you want? <laughs> I mean, just t talking about, you know, the fact that nothing's been handed to you. Just talk about the graph, just talk about the grind, just talk about, you, you're now on Bellator for what, the second time. How have you actually arrived at Bellator? Um, to be honest, I might be on Bellator for the second time, but this is the first time I've been here. Um, the last time, that, that wasn't me, I was there, I heard Bellator, I heard, oh, you know, and I'll take the fight. I didn't put the training in that I should have done. In, in a showed really, you know what I mean? This time I'm a completely different animal. I had 12 weeks to prepare for this, twice a day, sometimes three times a day. I'm ready physically, I'm ready mentally, and I'm ready just to just to stop the hype train, to be honest. I'm a fighter, I've, I've done my apprenticeship, like I said before. Um, time to get what I've earned now, you know what I mean? It's, I'm back. In terms of, if you were to rank your emotions, you talked about the fact that you want to stop the hype train. You've talked about the fact that you've never showed up before for Bellator. In terms of ranking those emotions, what would be at the top? Would it be more that you want to basically shut uh, Aaron Chalmers up? Or would it be more along the, the lines of, you just want to put on a good performance that people see the real Ash Griffiths? Um, to be honest, hunger. Hunger's at the top. The dedication, the hunger, the drive, that's back. And it's back in abundance. It's That's what's pushing me through this. I've been in bad positions, this full camp. Positions that this man can only dream about putting me in, you know what I mean? Positions I'm going to have him in and, he, and his ass is going to fall out. You know what I mean? I'm going to... I've Not so much about... The hype chain for me it will open the door to my career again, but I'm in this fight for me. I'm in this fight for all the hard fights I've been in over my career in every sport. Everything I've done, the, 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 the fight camps that have cost me fortunes to do and I've been paid peanuts for, the fights I haven't been paid to do and I've just fought in social clubs, all that's led me here. Look at, looking around, look at some of these fighters, man. These guys are legends, you know what I mean? I'm in awe of these guys. For me, I want to prove to myself, you know, I can hang with these guys. You know what I mean? The way to do that is by derailing Jordy Shaw. And just on derailing that hype train, you made a very bold statement when we last spoke. You said that you'd be happy to bet your life savings. That was countered online by Aaron Chalmers, who basically said he would double your purse. First of all, you seem to have backtracked from the last time we spoke because you said that you were going to speak to your coaches about his offer and basically um, it would be something up for discussion. But it hasn't happened. But t tell me, what's transpired between the last time we spoke and today? It's easy to say you'll double someone's money when even if I smash him, which I intend to do, he can still double my money and come out with about 40, 50 grand at least. Easy to say when you've got money. When you're the chip leader in poker, you know, you bully everyone, that's all you can do. He offered to double my purse or I get nothing. So basically I lost everything or get my purse doubled. You know what I mean? He shouted it's the biggest payday I've had. It's already the biggest payday I've ever had. So that means nothing. That that goes a long way to me. I don't get money given. So we counter offered and said something along the lines of, okay, put all your money on the line so you lose everything or we like basically you put all your five person we put our five person winner takes all they said no the only way they would look at it would be if we doubled his five purse mate i'm from hartlepool do i look like i can afford to double that man's five purse his hairspray probably costs more than what i'm in in this fight you know what i mean his sesame street voice over alone from being elmo is going to pay for whatever he you know what i mean we can't afford to run with that but the fact is you were very confident in your ability and and if that confidence actually transpires into a win on the night, you'd be quids in if you were actually going to get his purse, surely? Yeah, I would be. But also, it's a fight game, mate. He's the golden boy. If a dodgy ref decision came in, if an injury came in mid-fight, if something if could happen that 
that no, no, I could be winning the fight, for instance, for two minutes, uh, for two rounds, sorry, I could be absolutely dominating, and then my leg could go, anything could go, I can't carry on, he gets that win, that then saves me out of pocket, he hasn't beat me, he's got the result, but he hasn't beat me, he then gets that money, you know what I mean? I guess same mate, I've, I've worked for this, I, I've served my apprenticeship, this money goes a long way for me, this money will be a drop in the ocean for him, you know what I mean? It's it's a different game. It's easy to say when you've got money made. You know what I mean? I said I'd bet my life savings. That's about, I told you, that's about four quid and two buttons. I'll put that on the line if he wants to, you know what I mean? I mean, that'll see me skinned, but, you know, I'll work with it. Just finally, just to wrap things up, Aaron Chalmers has given me a prediction for how he's going to finish you. Basically, he's looking, he's looking at a spectacular knockout, but how are you planning in your mind's eye how is it actually played out in terms of what's going to happen come fight night first of all mate he couldn't knock a fart out unless it fell out of his ass so there's no way on earth he's knocking me out um the man's a clown at, at the end of the day he's beat the people who are being put in front of him no disrespect the people who are being put in front of him they haven't been there to win the previous version of me who's been fighting hasn't been there to win i'm there to take everything that that man's been given everything the next fight he's got lined up i want them fights and i intend to take them when i beat him on friday night regardless of how the fight goes whether i drag him into deep water whether i finish him quick either way i'm getting my hand ways i'm prepared to do whatever it takes for this fight ash griffiths we'll see you on fight night absolutely amazing thank you so much take care